Well, it was an interesting morning. Uh, everything worked out well. I'd just like to put a qu question to Vance Brand now. Vance, you're going on the first non-testing <coughs> flight of the shuttle, STS-5, it'll be called, and that goes when, in November? That's right, John. Uh, November 11th is the uh, current date. And what will you be carrying? It, it will be the first working flight. We will have two commercial satellites, communication satellites mm -hmm. purchased by two companies, one Canadian, one American, and uh, we're being used as a transportation system to get them into orbit. The Ace Trucking Company, as you say. Uh, again, the Ace Trucking Company, yeah. The, uh, and when you get up into orbit and you open the doors on the spacecraft, how do you get the satellites out? Do you kick them out? Well, of course, we could use the arm, but that won't be used in this case. Uh, they actually will be kicked out uh, by springs. There, uh, they will be, uh, there will be springs that push them out at uh, one or two miles per hour. First, they'll be spun up on a Lazy Susan type well, device. We'll be watching you, Vance, up there. <laughs> there's, the, uh, uh, there's the shuttle now, uh, and you see those two long vans behind it, those trucks. They're purging some of the, uh, uh, the various fluids and fuels that are still in it. Uh, and you can also see the stairs up at the front, uh, and I presume by now that somebody has gone in there to see the astronauts. That concludes our coverage of STS-3, the three million mile flight of the Columbia, ended successfully today. Sorry about Lloyd Dobbins.